Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Learn to Become an Animator. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the parent constraint into the Maya. You can see here, a very simple animation I have created. The hand is entering the frame, holding the mug and putting into the other place. Let's begin. Here you can see, we have a mug and I have created a simple control so that you can move and animate the mug and here we have a hand whole character here you can see the ray character I have downloaded from the internet and I use that I frame the camera such a way that we can see only the hand I have animated this holding it on this frame and just lifting it and putting on the particular frame the 29 now let me show you how you can use the parent constraint in this animation right now I am just going to delete the parent constraint so that will be very easy for you to understand now you can see there is no constraint in the animation but I have decided that frame 17 the hand is going to hold the mug so at the same frame I will select the hand control and the mug control go to constraint in the animation module you will find the constraint constraint go to option box make sure the maintain offset is click on and apply now you play our hand is holding the mug throughout but i want the mug to be holded by 17 now select the control of the mug and you can see here the channel box is turn green because there is a key now go to the frame 17 and make the blend parent 0 and key selected so if you scrub the hand is coming but it's not holding right now so after the 18 is going to hold because 17 and 18 you can see the blend parent we have animated 0 and 1 now wherever you want to keep this yeah 29 i want to keep this and the hand is going to leave the mark so go to 29 number frame key selected the blend parent go to next frame and make it zero make sure you have to key all the controls here so the mug position will be there otherwise it will go along with the hand now it's now hand is leaving the mug here it's very simple and very useful for any other animation as well you can do the multiple motions here you can keep the mug here and if there is another object you can pick up that object and you can keep that object at the other place so that you have to add one more constraint that time and you can animate the parent constraint this way i hope you understood the parent constraint very well if you have any suggestions or comments you can just put into the comment box thanks a lot